Welcome in. I'm the Kodiak, and today I'm here to talk about the Lions extending Jared Goff. So before we get into it, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're not already. Let's dive right into it. So this is a move that makes sense for a number of reasons. I'm very, very proud of what Jared Goff has been able to accomplish in Detroit. He was sent to Detroit as a part of the Stafford trade, and honestly, some of the first impressions surrounding that trade were, oh, he was just sent there to die or just become a bridge quarterback for whoever the Lions would end drafting early on. But the Lions became a very, very respectable team. Uh, respectable is an understatement because now they are a force to be reckoned with and one of the most liked, universally liked NFL teams out there. And it's incredible to see the program that Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes have built. And this makes sense for a number of reasons. First of all, Jared Goff is their guy. Now, when he was coming over from the Los Angeles Rams, a lot of the sentiment around him was that he was holding Sean McVay back. But at the same time, it looks like that, I don't know, maybe Goff just hit another gear in his game when he was sent to Detroit. Maybe you never know what getting traded to a new city, to a new environment, to a new team, to a new offensive ecosystem can do for guys uh, you know, who are in Jared Goff's position. And he was never, ever a bad player by any stretch of the imagination. He always performed about as well as we thought he could have with the Rams. But then he goes to Detroit. And he has been an instrumental part in turning that whole team and that whole franchise around. Because when you have guys like Jameer Gibbs and Amon Ross St. Brown and Sam Laporte, yes, it's a very QB-friendly environment, but what makes it all work? What's the functional cog in the machine that keeps everything going? It's the QB. And ultimately, all the people that said Hen Hooker was going to you know, get his chance over Goff at some point, they look absolutely stupid now. And the other reason this makes sense is because they needed to do this. They needed to get this done before there were four other quarterbacks that needed ginormous extensions. So over the next few years, we have Jordan Love, Tua Attack Viola, Dak Prescott, and Trevor Lawrence up for big extensions. And honestly, they're probably going to get bigger numbers than what Goff got now, even though I don't think the majority of those should get big contracts. Uh, they're going to because NFL teams don't really have any choice if they have to keep a average to good quarterback and the best quarterback from that list in my opinion it's either going to be love or Dak but uh and I'd be much more fine with paying those as opposed to guys like Trevor Lawrence and to attack by law but regardless uh this was a great move for the Detroit Lions so as far as the Lions direction and their overall offensive plan or not even offensive plan but their overall plan for this offseason what did they do they drafted, or not drafted, but they extended Amon Ross St. Brown. They extended Penny Sewell, and they finally extended Jared Goff as well. So it's really, really cool to see the program that Brad Holmes has put into place, say with Dan Campbell, because passion just feeds off of each other. And Detroit is a very, very QB-friendly place to play uh, environmentally. Like, yes, I know they have weapons and all that, but I don't think the Lions played in a single bad weather game last year, and you only realistically have two games on your entire schedule each year that are guaranteed to maybe be some tough weather. And most of your games are in a dome. Obviously, you have Minnesota in the NFC North as well. They also play in a dome. But despite the fact that he's in a very QB-friendly spot, despite the fact that he has great weapons to work with, he is what made the Detroit Lions respectable again. And you could tell when <laughs> I've been to Michigan a couple times and I haven't been to Detroit or anything like that, but this place is really, really excited about the Lions. One of the managers at my work actually in January uh, was transferred over from Detroit and he was really, really excited to, um, for their playoff run. And I think everybody was, I think for a large part of this year, Detroit was America's team and I'm really excited about what they've done. Uh, how can you not be as a neutral NFL fan? How can you not be? These guys were the Browns of the NFC for the longest time. And yeah, they've had great players like Stafford and Megatron and Barry Sanders, but they could never, never really put it together. And the fact that they can, and the fact that Jared Goff was the leader of the team, and the fact that he got this big extension symbolizes that. So I am very, very proud of Jared Goff. Not that he already didn't have a big contract to begin with, because he had one when the Rams signed him a few years back, but he got a third contract in the NFL now, which is pretty abnormal these days. And I am, I just could not be happier for the guy. Great dude. And yeah, so that does it for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.